in this tutorial I show you how to install URLS uh, on shared cPanel and um, you can ask me what is URLS and uh, actually it is a URL shortener script and you can get it here it is free and open source so you can get it here I already give you the link and uh, if we go to this link uh, you check this this is the link so um, here you see it and uh, if you click uh, it it will show you a uh, URL like this and uh, this is all files and you can download it uh, I mean click on clone uh, or download and click the download zip then you will download it and uh, after download you need to know how to install it and uh, um, first download it and then upload it to server you can upload it in root directory or a subdirectory according to your need and I uh, will install it to a subdirectory I already uh, you see I already download and upload it to my server and I will install it a subdirectory so I will uh, install it uh, whenever I install subdirectory like URL I put a directory called name URL and just create it, create it. and then I will uh, move it to here I mean move it to this directory and then I will uh, enter it and unzip it extract it so after extract you will see there is a, a folder called URS master I will move all files there first I will select them select all then I will move it to my directory I mean remove it and then I will move to URL directory so it is on my URL directory and I will delete the folder it is created before by default uh, this is done so it is done now I will configure it and uh, next I have to configure it so before configure it I need to go user directory and rename config uh, hyphen uh, sample.psp to config.psp here uh, is a directory called user you see that here is a directory called user so I will go there and rename uh, select it and rename it by right click and rename it you can rename from uh, on uh, top I, I can I will remain for remain rename from it uh, so I just rename it to config.psp remove the sample and just rename it and confirm to source. then I will open it I will click right button on it and then click edit and it will open open it so if I check next slider first I have to uh, set up a MySQL DB and configure it and uh, and then configure it with the MySQL DB configuration and uh, here is the MySQL DB configuration if you check it here is the MySQL DB configuration so I will make a DB here I, so how can you make a DB so you can first go databases then MySQL databases so I will a DB called URL yes then click create that database so this database created I just copy it and paste it here uh, your here is the DB name so I will paste it here the DB name paste it here DB name is there so then I will make uh, the user so I will create a user here I will create the same name user so can we can easily understand and I will generate password from here and just paste it So we get user uh, a extensions underscore URL and we just uh, put password here. I already copied it, and then I will copy the username here and paste here db your db username. It is quite easy. Then I will make a save changes button. Then I will go again uh, MySQL database uh, and then I will add user to database so here is my user a extension URL and here is the my database and I just click add and after that I will click all privileges uh, here and make changes so my database is ready now uh, next part is um, you don't need to go uh, as we will host and you know in shared cPanel most most often um, host will be local host and my school table prefix you don't need to change it but you can change it according to your need so I'll not change it I will keep it default and uh, then the <coughs> then go for next slide so mm, 
then we have to scre uh, add script URL so you see I put it here under my subdirectory uh, URL so so my uh, check my website uh, I mean uh, domain name here is my domain name devgarages.net so I copy it and I will paste my domain name here your own domain name dot com then I will put my subdirectory name I mean URL here my subdirectory name is URL and remember one thing never use uh, slash at the end you don't never use that you just make uh, URL like this and just again save it then go for next slide then you need to add cookie um, uh, I mean cookie key for cookie key you have to add uh, random key uh, so we just use random key there so we will go for it and for cookie we have to random key something like I will uh, use a s e r d a one two five four this is something like random for cookie key and then I will again s save it so next is add user and password we have to add user and password on this script so let's go for username and password you already see here is the username and that is password and we will just uncomment it removing from backend and we uh, use uh, like admin you will use your your son I will use my own admin admin my username is admin password is admin uh, you never use something like that because you will use a strong username and password I just as I am just showing a tutorial so I, I so I, I use uh, normal username and password I just click save changes so next part is now we have to install it so no if we wish to install it and we will use this one so let's go for it so we will go for our domain name then we will go for URL and the directory we already uh, have those files and then we go for admin then go for install dot PSP okay then we will click enter so you get uh, the uh, your uh, urls and uh, uh, config uh, i mean install uh, uh, screen so you just click it and uh, you just click this button and install it so it uh, already configured everything and you, it shows you a administration page you just click administration page and you already know username and password what I what we put in here I mean in configuration file already we put it here so we just use admin and we just use password is admin so this is the screen in admin section we are we are on admin interface so you you can easily enter any URL and make it uh, shorten and um, here is the shorten URL so you see how easily you can uh, install it on shared C panel. Mm, if you love this tutorial, uh, um, you, uh, don't forget to like and share this uh, tutorial. And I hope you will subscribe my channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you. Take care and bye bye.